check this out. You can you can totally see what I see. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, oh man, now how do I fix this? Hey, what's up everybody? It's Wild Indeed. Yes, that's right. I use the pen name. I use the channel name, Wild Indeed. Not just DJ anymore. I'm official. I'm an official YouTuber now. I'm using real, real fake names and stuff. It's the first week in November. Second video in a week. Who's this guy I think he is? A YouTuber posting stuff. Alright, enough of the cheesy jokes. Uh, so finally, Halloween is over, which means that uh, we can get down to the real holidays. I mean, I will take any excuse I can to get candy, but, um, you know, I just, I just like, just like uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas a little better. I, I do, I really do. November's gotten me to thinking a lot about October, and October was a really good month. I don't think that I've ever really appreciated October as much as I have this year. And a lot of that had to do with just, I don't know, I guess being older or something. But, uh, you know, you think about it, October is great. You got uh, you got great football. You got great baseball. Way to go, Cubbies. Um, and uh, and uh, we taught our dog how to shake hands. So, overall, it was a pretty productive month, I think. The other uh, thing that I really like about October is that it forced me this month, uh, last month, October forced me to ask myself a lot of hard questions. Questions I, I really wasn't sure if I was ready for. Let me just kind of fill you in on some things that have been going on. So most of you who know me know that I have been, um, you know, I'm in the last year of grad school. I've been going to a practicum site where I use whatever I'm using in my, in the classroom to apply to real people with actual problems. And, um, you know, it's fun. It's also just, uh, Really scary if I'm dead honest. It is super, super intimidating. And then on top of that, I'm also working full time doing ministry, and um, I have this going on now. I, I don't, there's just so much. And October made me start to ask myself a couple of really difficult questions, and I figured right now it was as good a time as any to kind of bring them up with you, kind of let you know what's been going on in this little head of mine. Let me just give you some context. So I'm in the parking lot of my practicum site. I really wasn't ready to see the client that I was supposed to see. It was like 15 minutes till I was about to see them and, and I just came, uh, just became overwhelmed. Just maybe I was tired, uh, maybe I was just hungry, I don't know. It was just all of a sudden I was just completely overwhelmed with emotion and I, and I found myself flooded with the same question over and over again and it finally just hit me, am I sure I want to do this? And before anybody freaks out, I, I just really want to make myself clear. I really like what I'm doing right now. I really like that I'm working with people doing counseling. I really like that I'm doing ministry. But I love creating. I love being a creative. As a matter of fact, that's probably one of my most favorite things about myself, probably, is that I, I really love creating things. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, I always made stuff with my hands, or I was drawing, I was shooting photos, making videos with my friends. I was always creating something. Let me just be clear for a second. My family was always really supportive of this. It wasn't like, no, you can never create anything ever. Um, my parents let me go to art camps. They, they helped me buy my first camera, which was just like a little HP PowerShot camera. Some of you probably don't even remember whenever they did. Double A batteries for days is what I'm trying to say. It was just, that was, that was, that was technology, folks. So uh, I, I was always emboldened to, to, to do creative things. I was always kind of toying around with different stuff and kind of, kind of uh, pretending to be something else or do something else. You know, I just, my interests always kind of sporadically changed every couple of weeks. So, so whenever I started getting older and started trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my career, Obviously, I felt this call to ministry, and I couldn't ignore that at all, and I and I wouldn't want to, right? So I, I felt that. And once I finished up college, I went straight into grad school and went in a totally different direction than what I expected, which was uh, I went from ministry to psychology. And although that was a great move on my part, I feel like, I, I, I still to this day feel like it was a good move, there's always been this part of me that I've just kind of seen but not really honed in or not really fine-tuned at all, not really played with, and it was this, this just knack that I had for creativity. And I learned uh, just a few years ago that kind of my favorite 
thing to do with creativity, my favorite kind of activity within that realm is spoken word poetry. And some of you have probably seen some of the videos that I've put on this channel in the past. Probably the biggest thing that I've learned the most since moving to California from Texas is that there are conversations that you can have here that uh, I wasn't able to have while I, was moving, while I was living in Texas. And it's not to say that there's no room for creativity or there's no space for it in Texas. It's just very limited on where you can be. And my thought is that if I want to be serious about my creativity, I want to move someplace where that creativity can be fine-tuned and honed and I can work on my craft. Like I said, don't get me wrong, it wasn't that I was growing up in a world where creativity wasn't allowed. It wasn't like that weird town in Footloose where I wasn't allowed to kind of express myself. It was just the thought of my creative pursuits being something more than just a hobby had never occurred to me until October. So where did I land, you might be asking yourself. Well, that's a good question. I'm learning right now that it never has to be one or the other. There's no rule book on what a career is supposed to look like. My feeling, my thought, especially my experience with my generation, the millennial generation, is that we have a lot of, we bounce around from different thing to thing. We bounce around from different interests to different interests, and we bounce around from career to career. Now, is that the way that uh, our parents did it, or maybe our grandparents did it? Not at all. You found your thing, and you stuck with it until retirement. That to me just sounds really, really bad. And it's not like I don't want to do therapy. I don't know that I want to do therapy full time. And the more I talk to some of my peers, the more I realize I'm not alone in that. I'm not alone in that at all. But what is it that I want to do at the other part of that time? I want to do this. I want to make videos. I want to shoot photos. I want to be creative. It's kind of where my head is at right now. And it's only taken me up till, till last month to realize that it doesn't have to be one or the other. We, uh, My wife and I had lunch with a friend of ours just last week and she kind of reminded me of that and told me like things can be a collage your career can be what you say it is I'm just saying that within my little world I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna marry the the, the worlds of ministry psychology and creativity and it's like I have this arm uh, arm full of stuff and I just don't know where to put it that's, that's kind of where my head's at right now. I'm learning where to put it. And what I've noticed as well is that this creativity is more than just a hobby. It's, it's in my identity. It's, it's woven into my, my DNA. I mean, I personally believe that to not create, to not be creative in some capacity, it doesn't have to be drawing, it doesn't have to be shooting videos or shooting photos, but to not operate within a creative element is actually going against how we were created. Now, that may be another video for another time, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys in on where my head was at right now. Um, basically, I just wanted to have a little little chat with you guys because I know we get each other. Now, tell me what you think. How do you feel about what I've said? Maybe you're on the same track, maybe you're not. Maybe you have a different opinion. I don't know. Let's, let's start a conversation. Let me know in the comments. And if you like what you saw, hit subscribe on the channel. If you like what you heard, hit subscribe too and we'll keep talking. You know, we'll, this, is, this is a journey. The, the, the month of October is not where stuff stayed, it is where stuff began. And things are gonna, things are in full swing right now for a lot of other things that are just around the corner. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along with all of that. So that's, I mean, that's why I'm starting up this channel again. That's why I'm, you know, being more productive and trying to put myself out there even more is because I want you to walk alongside me as I kind of walk this weird, confusing, crazy journey. So. Anyway, there are links in the description below on how you can connect, can connect with me further. And uh, yeah, let me know how I can be an encouragement to you. Maybe you're kind of in a similar spot and, and you need some encouraging words. Let me know what I can do. I think I've, I think I've pretty well covered everything I wanted to say. So, um, all I need now is just a really clever sign-off, I think. Um, and, I, and I don't really know what that, uh, what that is um, or what that looks like. Um, it's got to be something really good, right? It's got to be something like super catchy and it's like, wow, that, that should be on a t-shirt. We'll figure something out. All I know to tell you now is be bold, be brave, just breathe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.